This is SAT test three, calculator question number th 23. College Board gives us two angles and says the sine of angle A is equal to the cosine of angle B. If A is equal to this expression and B is equal to that expression, they want the value of K. Since this is a calculator question and we're under time pressure, I'm going to go over the fastest solution first. The sine of A is the sine of 4K minus 22, and the cosine of B is cosine of 6K minus 13, and we're told sine A equals cosine B. I now have an equation with only one variable. If I enter the left side into Y1 on my graphing calculator and the right side into Y2 on my graphing calculator, and I choose a window where the X window includes all possible values for my variable, so I chose 0 to 30 because all four answer choices for K are between 0 and 30. And I graph it and find the intersection, which is calculate choice 5 is intersect on my TI-84. Hit enter three times and the calculator says X, which is what I input for K, is equal to 12.5. So that would be choice C without doing any actual math. If I wanted to do the math to solve this problem, then I would say that the sine of angle A equals the cosine of angle B. But the cosine of angle B is the same as the sine of 90 degrees minus B degrees. So that is the sine of angle A, which we're told is 4K minus 22, equals the sine of 90 minus the quantity 4, I wrote that wrong, let's fix it. No, I wrote that right. 90 minus the quantity 6K minus 13. If the sines of these two expressions are equal, I'm going to assume the expressions are equal. Distributing this negative to the 6K and to the 13. There are possibilities for being off by 360 degrees, but we're not going to worry about that. We're going to assume that this is going to work out smoothly. Now simplifying, 90 plus 13 is 103. and minus 6k equals 4k minus 22. Add 22 to both sides, and I get 125. Add, four, add 6k to both sides, and I get 10k on the left equals 125. Dividing by 10, I get k equals 12.5, which is the same answer as I got in the calculator. On the calculator, I'm using the fact that the calculator will solve any equation that only has one variable efficiently when I'm under time pressure for the SAT. Here I was using the fact that the complement sine, the cosine, is the sine of the complement, the sine of 90 minus my angle. Both give us the answer we're looking for. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.